Even though I didn't say yes, but they're, they're going to start anyway. I don't think we're going to have names up, though. We weren't ready you for this match. The thing. Huh? You clicked the thing. Didn't you? you clicked it. It just takes a while, I think. Yeah, uh, it'll be there in time. <laughs> oh, really? So we're going to have Seabrick versus Sergeant Pepper. Seabrick on uh, playing Diddy Kong. Sergeant Pepper with a Rosaluma player. The newcomer! A challenger is approaching. His that was a really nice out there. Sergeant Peppers. The He's uh, in charge of the Lonely Hearts Club Bandai here. Oh, okay. Do um, does Seabrook have Rosaluma experience? He is. Yeah, he plays against Zaltus a lot. Well, I don't know about a lot. He plays Zaltus in tournament. Um, but, I mean, that's pretty good Rosaluma experience. Ah, that's cool. And pretty even game right now. Zaltus says he doesn't like this matchup at all, but I don't. I don't think this matchup's bad for Rosalina, honestly. Oh wow! Seabrook wants that down air. Just barely whiffing the spike. That would have been nasty. That would have been disgusting. So that was interesting. I don't know if you saw it. After Rosalina uh, down beat uh, Diddy's banana, it didn't trip either one of them. Really? Yeah. So it's nobody's. The item belongs to nobody. I could have sworn I've seen it trip Diddy after that before, though. But uh, maybe not. I don't maybe know. Maybe he just wasn't close enough. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Also, like he's Diddy. Yeah, he does that. He just does things. Ooh, oh, oh my gosh! So oh, and looking for that up air. It's a good so thing. What was that? Forward tilt? Well, forward he went for forward smash. Okay. All right, good up air though. See, we taking the first. Rosalina stop. is one of the lightest characters in the game, so up air will kill very early. Oh, that's unfortunate <laughs> to be her. <laughs> you know, for a while I thought she was a really heavy character, but that's Palatina, I think. That's the actual heavy female character. I don't think Palatina is heavy. Are you sure? No. I remember reading about this. One of the female characters is really, really heavy. It's not Zelda. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's definitely not Zelda. <laughs> Um, I mean, no, it's not Zero Suit. Maybe it's Palatina, I'm not I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it's Palatina, but I could be wrong. Rosalina is really, really heavy in Mario Kart. Oh, really? Yeah. And Saber not going for that free forward smash there. He wanted to get a grab or a grab read or something instead. Saber has really just taken... Oh, oh my, gosh. my god! That was the cleanest he did down that. throw up air. That was the dirtiest. He didn't even think about it. He just kind of came out on his hands. Bad DI from Sergeant Peppers, which allowed Sabrick to do that. I think Sabrick's like showing him how to DI it now, which is very nice of him. But I wouldn't do that till the set was over. Um, yeah, I wouldn't either. But this is a, oh, this is losers actually. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe Sabrick feels like he has it. That was a pretty. Um, that was really convincing. Yeah, that was an extremely convincing match. That was like two stock, not even close. No, Sabrick, to one Sabrick just he's gone. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh. Sabrick, you'll be DQ'd in one minute. Yeah, I'm starting the counter. <laughs> I think um, your DQ timer should be cumulative. So if you're gone for 30 seconds, when you come back, your timer is only 30 seconds left. What do you think? Say that again? We weren't even listening. <laughs> I, I, got a, I got a thing. Oh, you got a thing? Yeah, I got a thing. So I think your, um, your DQ counter should be cumulative. So if you're gone for 30 seconds, the uh, next time you come back... You only have 30 seconds 30, left? 30 seconds, yep. Yo, we got, like, online card game style. My Z button broke. His, His Z, Z button, button broke. broke. His Z button broke. Quote, unquote. Just set grab to X. That's what I do. Wow, Diddy Kong grab button breaks. That should be a headline. <laughs> that should be a headline. Have you he seen? He grabbed so oh much the button broke. That's. Uh, I'm gonna, that's I'm gonna really tweet that. <laughs> Diddy Kong players. Z button breaks. I think he's testing out a new a new controller. So. I think he borrowed heads. Yeah, this isn't the match, obviously. Yo, shoutouts to. Jesse Winton secretly sniping the chat. I know he's in there because he keeps texting me about things we're talking about. Like, bro, the keyboard's right in front of you. We're all friends here. Don't worry. How do you break your grab button? You it's grab a Z, a the lot. Z button is like... To be fair, I don't know where my controller is. My, my, my Z button's pretty messed up also. Really? Wow. That's because I opened it up, though. I opened up my controller and like did stuff to it, and when I put it back together, it was kind of butt. But I don't use the Z button, so whatever. The Z button is like one of the... Yeah, Jesse, it does. I feel like it's, it's one of the most like like reliable buttons. It doesn't feel flimsy at all, but Yeah, it's true. Yeah, sounds like... Yeah, that's Smash Ball. That's what I was going to say. That uh, The satirical Smash Smash News site. Dude, I love it. Or uh, Twitter. Is it a whole site or is it just Twitter? It's a whole site. Oh, I, I don't know. It might be just Twitter. I haven't seen the site, so... I've only seen Twitter, yeah. Yeah. Um, yo, player one. So, uh, Sabrick pretty much dropped Diddy Kong. Let's this way. Hey, baby. Uh, Sabrick's pretty much just maining Diddy now. Yeah, he dropped uh, Mega Man. Doesn't play Sheik anymore. He posts statuses about it all the time. I'm sure you saw it. Have you seen a Smash Psychology series? Uh, I mean, it's a very David thing to do. Yes, I'm that's sure what I was going to say. Wow. I'm sure I've heard pretty much everything he says on Five the three times already. Five dollars to be your coach during one set. Damn. 
Wow. Can I do that? Yo, if any of you guys out there want me to coach you, uh, I'll do it for the low, low price of $5. Yeah. You know what? I'll do it for $4. $4? $4. Wow, $4. You're, I'm sniping You're saber. trying to monopolize, <laughs> monopolize the Smash coaching yeah, scene. $4, and I'll teach you how to not get up by Diddy Kong. One hour on Skype, $15 to get to know you. Oh my god. I'm sorry, c Rick. <laughs> <laughs> so match number two, Omega Smash... Uh, this is Pokemon League, I think it's called. I like the music This is Kalos Pokemon League. Yeah. The music is great. It is Omega. Wait, why did... Oh, actually, okay. So Rosalina picked here. This is a really smart counter pick. I actually love counter picking this stage against Diddy Kong why? because one, it has a high ceiling. Two, it's Final Destination, which is arguably Diddy's worst stage. And three, see those walls? Those are fake walls. Diddy can't actually wall cling on or wall jump or anything on those walls. Wow. Um, so if he thinks he can, he's just gonna kill himself. Let me ask you a quick question. Mm -hmm. Omega stages have different ceilings. I didn't know that. Yes, they do. I thought they all had generally the same ceiling. Nope. The Omega stage that Saber counterpicked Nick Riddle to game three, the one we couldn't figure out, that stage has a like really low ceiling. Not like Halberd low, but still pretty low. This stage has a really tall ceiling. It's FD and it has fake walls. So I think this is this is my favorite counter pick against Diddy at the moment. That's really, really good to know. So, yeah, I feel like Villager would want to go here every single time. Whoa, are you crazy? Villager does Villager hates high ceilings. But Villager loves FD. Also, you don't need to kill them. <laughs> you're Villager, you're going you know, to time. You know, people love to say that. I wish I could time someone out with Villager. No one respects the camp. People just kind of run in there. But anyway, back to the match. Um, CB taking the first stock, but sitting at 92%. When you, th when you down throw Rosalina, where does Luma go? Can't he, um... Luma can... If you grab Rosalina, Luma can only hit you if you pummel Rosalina. Interesting. If you just grab her, Luma can't do anything until after the throw. That's good to know. Um, real quick, shout out to the music on the stage. This is absolutely yeah, this is one of the hype. best songs in the game. Yo, Wally thing, though? Just saying. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, Side B can kill. It's Which silly. Who's Side B? Diddy's. Oh, absolutely. Someone in the stream mask. Absolutely. Both the grab and the hit for the kick. I hope they nerf Luigi. Anyways, back to the match. Um, <laughs> nerf Luigi? I, shout out to Lance a lot. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that high ceiling kind of coming back to bite Rosaline in the butt. That up where air might have killed on the lower ceiling stage, but uh, that's alright. And yeah, again, Saber... Oh my god, Jab just Was killed. Was that the Jab kill? Jab the, just killed. The Fable Jab kill. Jab <laughs> just killed. Yeah, Rosalina is sitting at 115%. Um, jab just killed. Jab did just kill. Like, I guess Rage and High Percent, that'll do it. Oh, Good Seabrick games. taking match number okay. two. Okay, Jab just killed. Jab indeed did kill. I, I can't get over that right now. Jab just killed. Like, I've died to Captain Which Falcon's hit was that? jab. Was that like the third hit of Jab? It was the last hit. Maybe he got hit into, Rosa, uh, into Luma's no, jab? No, 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 no. He definitely did Rosalina.